Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Today I'm going to read you a poem that uh, was written more of a personal nature. Long ago, back in my barfly days. Um, check it. Look what you're staring at now. I dug this bitch out of the fucking basement the other day. Well, not the other day, a few months back. A couple months back, I guess. Anyway. This is my original Trapper Keeper designer series, of course, <laughs> from 1989. Yeah, buddy. <coughs> I am a normal human child. Can you tell me about Eric Cartman's Trapper Keeper? <laughs> Shout out to all the South Park fans. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, this is my Trapper Keeper I had when I was in, like, what was it? Um, fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade. And this is where I keep all the stuff from the archives. This is where I keep all the stuff from the archives that I want to share most pertinently. They're all in classifications based on folders. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just what I want to share like in this given few next six months. Uh, so, yeah. My trap or keep or. I hope you geeks can dig it. I'm an ultra geek. Ultra geek. Anyway, enough nonsense. Let's see what do we want to read today. What do we want to read today? There it is. This one's an old one. I wrote this one, hell, probably when I was like 25 or something. It's called Longing. A thought of weightless esteem. A life most only breach. There are too many moments between death and ecstasy in this gasp rebirth. And with a glance she trembled. And I knew those eyes in the womb of my eternal daydream. Fantasy marries reality and the rituals of my moods. A life that knows love bears immortal ease in its passage. Thought as much as a heart lends lies. Only the will of omnipresent clarity shall negotiate the barren constraints of sorrow. Of, an ex of extinct mentalities. Only the will of omnipresent clarity shall negotiate the barren constraints of sorrow and of extinct mentalities. She laughed sardonically, and I knew in a moment what forever could mean. Our eyes meet, open, stirring, incomprehensible daydreams, lifting our presence beyond earthly traps and the treachery of the senses. And I knew in a moment what forever could mean. 